Hello everyone, in my last video we have done some problem related to your algebraic expression. There we have learned how to multiply, how to add, how to subtract and how to divide. Today in this video we will be learning about your identities. When it comes to your identities, we will be discussing about certain formula that you have done in your previous classes also. In class 7 also you have learned. So let us go through the identities. What are your identities you have? So let me just write it down the formula. Okay, identities. What is the first identity? You have learned already in class 7. The first identity is A plus B whole thing is square. Now what is A plus B whole thing is square? It is a square plus twice ab plus b square. It is what? a square plus twice ab plus b square. If you don't want to write it down this way, you can even write it down as like this. a square plus b square plus twice ab. It is same. Okay? Whether you write down your b square here or here, it is same. So let us go to the next identity. Next identity is a minus b whole thing is square. It is a square minus twice a b plus b square. That is your second identity. Then the third one. Third one you take a square minus b square will be how much? a plus b into a minus b. It is a plus b into a minus b. Then the fourth one, the last one you take x plus a into x plus b. So what is x plus a into x plus b? It will be x square plus a plus b into x plus a. So these are your four identity for the time being. We'll stick with this identity. And I will be teaching you how to use this type of identity in solving your problem. So let us take some examples. Let us take some examples. Okay, that will, these examples will help you in solving your exercise from your chapter 6. So, let us see one example. Suppose they ask you Ivalik. Ivalik. Number 1, suppose they give x plus 6 whole thing is square. Suppose they give x plus 6 whole thing is square. Now you see. This is of which type, which identity you will be using. This is of the form a plus b. As you can see, this is your a and this is your b. So what you can do is that, you can use the first identity. So solution, what you can do here is that, x plus 6 whole thing square will become x square plus 2 into x into 6 plus 6 square. I hope so, this is alright, a plus b whole thing square is a square plus twice a b plus b square. I am using my first identity. So you do the calculation. So this will become x square plus 6 to the 12, 12x plus 6 square is 36. So this is your required answer. So whenever you see anything, okay, very the first item, they can ask you any type of questions out here. They can ask you a plus 7 whole thing square. Or they can ask you 2a plus 3b whole thing square. Or they can ask you a plus c whole thing square. So whenever they give you some expression with plus, okay, and whole thing square you have to find out. You kindly use your first identity. So the first identity will be used in solving this type of problem. I hope so you are okay with the first identity. Now, let us move to the second type. Second type is a minus b whole thing square. So how to use a minus b whole thing square? In what type of problem you should be using a minus b whole thing square? So let us see. Suppose they give you 2x minus y whole thing square. So here it is minus, it is of the form a minus b whole thing square. So I can use my second identity. So solution, so 2x minus y whole thing square. So what is your a here? Your a is what? 
A is 2x and what is your B? B is y simply. So it becomes A minus B whole thing square. It becomes A minus B whole thing square. So what is A minus B whole thing square? As you can look here, it is A square minus twice A B plus B square. So it will become 2x whole thing square minus 2 into 2x into y plus y square. Do the simplification next. So it will become 4x square minus 2 to the 4. 4xy plus y square. So you can easily solve. So <coughs> not only this, they can ask you the step problem as you can see. They can ask you x minus y whole thing square. They can ask you x minus 3y whole thing square. Or they can even ask you suppose a minus 3b whole thing square. So whenever the step problem is given, you have to use your second identity. So I hope so. You are okay with this. You are okay with the second identity. Now let us go to the third identity. What is your third identity? a square minus b square is what? a plus b into a minus b. So let me do one example. Suppose they give you 5x whole thing square minus 7y whole thing square. So it is of the form a square minus b square. So solution you take 5x whole thing square minus 7y whole thing square. So how you can do this? So a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b or a plus b into a minus b. No problem. So you can write it down as 5x plus 7y into 5x minus 7. So this is your required answer. So out here, they can give you the same problem. They can give you, suppose, um, x square minus 2y whole thing square. Or they can give you y square minus 6y whole thing square. So here you can use your third identity. And uh, one more thing. Sometimes they slightly change the question. Okay, for your third identity, the same number can be slightly changed. Let me show you one more time. Suppose number four. Uh, the problem is very, very similar to this, but they will be writing 25x squared minus 49y squared. Suppose they ask you to solve this. Then how to do solution? See, 25x squared is what? 5x whole thing squared and 49y squared is what? 7y whole thing squared. So I can write this one as 5x whole thing squared minus 7y whole thing squared. Then you can proceed similarly. Your answer will be same. You will be getting the same answer. Now, let us move to the next identity. That is the last identity. That is x plus a into x plus b. It is x squared plus a plus b into x plus a b. So let us see whatever problem they can give here. Suppose they give x plus 2 into x plus 3. So x plus 2 into x plus 3. How to solve this? x plus 2 into x plus 3. So as you can see, it is of the form x plus a into x plus b. Can we use the formula? So it will become how much? x squared plus a plus b. a plus b means 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 into x plus 2 into 3. So how much you got? x squared plus 5x plus 6. So this is your required answer. And sometimes they may not give plus here. They might give minus. Let me show you one more time. Suppose they give like this, x plus 2 into x minus 3. When they give like this, x plus 2 into x minus 3. Now, you see here, x is x, what is your a? Your a is 2. And what is your b? Your b is minus 3. Not only 3, it is minus 3. So in that case, what will be your formula? The formula will remain the same only, but in place of b, you put minus 3. So it will be x squared plus this will become 2 minus 3 into x plus 2 into minus 3. So it will become x squared minus 1x minus 6. So this is your required answer. So I hope so. You are okay with 
using all this identity in solving your problem. Now, I would like to recall one more problem that is slightly different, but you have to use your identity only. So let us see one more problem that is slightly different. Suppose if I give you minus x minus y whole thing is square. Suppose if I give you minus x minus y whole thing is square. You don't have any formula related to this minus a minus b. You don't have. But what you can do is that if you want you can use your first identity. When you are planning to use your first identity, what is your a? Minus x and what is your b? Minus 1. Okay? So what is your a? Your a is minus x. And what is your b? Your b is minus 1. So you can use your first identity. Okay? So a squared, a squared means minus x whole thing squared plus 2 times minus x into minus y plus minus y whole thing squared. So it will become x squared. Because you know minus x into minus x is x squared. Minus into minus is plus. We have already done in the last video. And this will become minus into minus is plus. Plus into plus is plus. 2xy plus y squared. So this is your required answer. So what you will be doing is that you kindly go through this identity. Okay? You write it down 2 times, 3 times. Then it will be you will be very comfortable in using this identity in solving your problem. Once you are okay with the basic concept, then from your exercise 6.4, from your textbook exercise 6.4, the problems are given, the problems are based on this identities only. And you can use this identity in solving the problem, whatever is given in your exercise 6.4. Okay, with this basic concept, you will be able to solve your exercise 6.4. Okay, with this, I will conclude my video here and will meet in the next video. Thank you.